Good day. My name is Al Saganich. I'm here with Elio Benazzi, and today we're going to present the Oracle Golden Gate Adapter for Coherence. Today's presentation will start with an overall description of the technologies, that is, how does coherence work by itself, and how does the database work by itself, and then we'll segue into how the two work together when the Golden Gate Adapter for Coherence is involved. In this animation, without the Golden Gate Adapter for Coherence, we see coherence on the left and the database on the right. As we can see, objects are being inserted into the coherence cache, but they're not replicated to the database. Those objects only exist in the coherence cluster. Likewise, objects in the database can be persisted, but they only exist in the database. Unfortunately, those same objects may exist in both places, and changes to one or the other are not propagated between the two. Now if we look at the same animation with the adapter, we see it entering at the bottom. Objects entered into a coherence cache are then propagated via the coherence eventing mechanism to the other side, and those same changes are seen by the database. Likewise, objects entered into the database are propagated across the adapter and are seen by coherence. Using this mechanism, both sides see identical data at all times. Let's now look at an actual demonstration using Coherence 12C and the Oracle database. Hello, my name is Elia Bonazzi and I will be walking you through the Golden Gate Adapter for Coherence demo. We will be using a simple Java application which monitors a coherence cache, which allows users to store and retrieve employee information using put and get. And Oracle SQL Plus connected to a schema where the employee table is stored. We will store the new employee entries using the Java GUI application, and we will verify that the corresponding Oracle table has been populated via the Golden Gate coherence adapter. On the other hand, we will insert new rows in the employee table, making sure that the coherence cache is immediately updated with the new entries. We will also perform updates and deletes and verify that those changes are propagated from the database to the cache and vice versa. Let's get started. The demo takes a few seconds to boot, opening a few windows. However, we will interact only with the coherence cache monitor on the right side of, of the screen and with Oracle SQL Plus that will be placed on the left side of the screen. Using the cache monitor application, we add a new employee to the cache, typing his ID 1 his name, John, and last name, Taylor. We click the Put button and the Cache Monitor displays the entry. We make sure that the new entry has been automatically stored in the table via the Oracle Golden Gate Adapter by entering a select statement in the SQL Plus session. Now, we will test the other side. We add a second employee, Philip English, directly into the Oracle table using a SQL insert. As soon as we commit the transaction, the cache monitor on the right side of the screen displays the new entry. To be sure, we enter the number 2 in the ID field and we click on the Get button. The new employee is displayed in the cache monitor form. We see that insertions do work. Next, we want to test updates in both directions. In SQL Plus, we update the first name of employee number one, changing his first name 
from John to William. As soon as we commit a transaction, we notice that the coherence cache is updated almost instantly. Using the coherence cache monitor, we add a third employee by the name of Elizabeth Norton. Once again, we verify in SQL Plus that the employee table now contains three rows. Using SQL Plus, we attempt a deletion. We erase employee number two and we commit the transaction. Almost instantaneously, the coherence cache monitor reports the deletion. A single deletion was successful. Now it is the time to try multiple deletions at once in one atomic operation. In SQL Plus, we delete the remaining two employees stored in the employee table. Again, as soon as the transaction is committed, the deletions are reported by the cache monitor. This concludes the demo.